Nobody should be defined by an illness, and yet sometimes we lose sight of the person. It is more important to know what sort of person has a disease than to know what sort of disease a person has. At the North Bay Regional Health Center, we promote the person's recovery by understanding their unique preferences, strengths, skills, abilities, goals, and cultural background. But what about the person who cannot speak, or the person who cannot remember? How can we ensure that their perspective is heard and understood? Photographs become visual data through which we can understand the perspective of and acknowledge the expertise of the person. They say, this is who I am, this is where I'd like to be, this is what I enjoy, this is what I'm good at, and this is what makes me feel good. Yes, I know. It's up to us to hear the patient's voice, to understand what's important to the individual. Without that information from the patient's voice, from the patient's perspective, we aren't guaranteed that we're going to be able to meet their needs or provide them with a positive healthcare experience. Photo voice is a remarkable tool. It's, it's allowing us as a facility to see what's important to someone that will help us do a far better job providing them with the care that they need. This concept is absolutely key to our success in supporting individuals on their road to recovery. In a clinical setting, the more precise and person-centered we are, the better we are to hit the nail on the head, so to speak, and to work on the right goals to achieve a difference. I am confident that the implementation of one patient, one plan, will make a significant difference in the recovery of all our patients. You know, I was a patient at one time for approximately three years. And when I was able to have people understand what I felt I needed, then things started to come along really well. I was fortunate enough to, once uh, having been a patient, to really get a job working with uh, my colleagues here. And I was able to see the difference that was made by using patient-centered care and with photo voice and how our patients responded and showing what really meant something to them. You know, a lot of these people are out in the community now and it's because we've had people listen to them, understand what they felt their, felt their needs were and they're, they've helped them get there gave them the tools and showed them how to use them and our patients are out there using them and they're living quality of life. to remain person-centered and not illness-centered. Person-centered care is empowering and sets the stage for change for an individual, shifting power from the professional to the patient.